Hi everyone, welcome to ITS workshop. In this video, I would like to talk about one of the very common errors with Hadoop. You are starting Hadoop and you are receiving error with a Java path, no such directory found. So let me just show you and we'll see how to resolve that. So I want to start my Hadoop cluster. I just uh, want to check which daemons are running. So I just give JPS. It is not showing any of the Hadoop daemon running. Then I try to start with command start dfs.sh. So once I give this command, uh, it gives me this error that no such file or directory found. Because during installation, uh, we gave this path user library JVM and this particular version of Java. So what happens, uh, it has been quite a while and I haven't been using my Hadoop system continuously. So my system updated my underlying Java. So this particular Java version is updated now and this is no more available. The previous one which is defined in the uh, configuration file is no more available. So what we can do? Uh, very simple if you remember the installation video then there were two places where we had to change our Java path so Java home variable in Hadoop env.sh file and in bash rc you would like to change so let me show you let us see if uh, local host is working obviously not working because Hadoop daemons are not working right now and let us go to this path and check do we have this particular Java version or not so if I go to user library JVM and I get this Java version 1.7.0 which one we are referring JVM then Java 1.7.0 open JDK user library then JVM in JVM so this is the path which was given now this is empty and this is the path which is uh, updated so you can see here it is 131 it is 141 so there are some updation and this is my bin directory and all java utilities so we would like to give this path uh, you can go to properties and you can copy this path okay. we don't have permission for this so let us go and check our java here we can go to update alternatives configure java it gives us this path i can provide so it is coming with port one so we can copy this path you remember before jre we would like to copy and i can paste it uh, in my hot part so I have got the path now. My selection number is 2. It's fine. And the next thing uh, we would like to update with bash rc. So open your bash rc and you see in bash rc we have the old java version. So I would like to update this. Delete the previous one and paste the new one. No, 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 no. We just copy paste it here. This is my path. Fine. Uh, then you can save it. Escape from. So this path is updated in bash rc second step this path is updated 
and second step we need to update this path in Hadoop environment.sh so I think we still have the same path installation path if you remember so just go to this directory and open this with vi editor I think it's not able to find let me check home user home then this is, this is my group and this is my we are looking for Hadoop environment dot sh Hadoop etc Hadoop environment dot sh this file so let me copy this path Hadoop environment dot sh I think we are giving correct path but wrong name just give Hadoop environment dot sh now it's coming so in this file also you can see the previous java path which is wrong which is no more available because it has been updated by system so just put insert and change this and then we need to copy the java path and this is our new java path fine and then you can do escape colon wq exclamatory so now it's done so let us try to start our Hadoop daemon again and JPS obviously not working and then start DFS yep it's working starting name nodes on local host and starting data node so this is working now so this is how we solve it uh, no directory no set directory found with your Java path and it is very common if you are using Hadoop continuously for one or two year or three year so you may face this error and if you like this video please click on subscribe button and bell button if you want to continue these tutorials it will be helpful JPS and this time it's up and running if I go to Mozilla and I just update yes so my Hadoop is up and running thanks a lot thanks for watching this video please subscribe and share the work